And once again, we are going to take a live picture of the oil that is still gushing into the Gulf of Mexico tonight. Earlier today, one of the most renowned marine biologists in the world who lives here in Tucson agreed to talk exclusively to KLD News 13. He has turned down several national affiliate requests, including CNN's Anderson Cooper, but he sat down only with us to tell us what's happening to the dolphins in the Gulf of Mexico that you can't see unless you know what to look for. They are beautiful, majestic, and one of the smartest animals alive. And for Dr. Bernd Berzig, they're his light. He has studied dolphins for 38 years and is the foremost expert on dolphins and whales in the country. He says what's happening to them in the Gulf of Mexico is very disturbing. It's pretty intensive stuff. Though we haven't seen graphic pictures of dolphins dying a slow death like pelicans, it doesn't mean that they're immune to this disaster. Dolphins know how to avoid the large oil slicks, but they can't see the thin ones, which is what marine biologists fear the most. And that's pretty dangerous because those volatiles uh, are right at the surface and right where the animals are breathing. So with every breath they take, they suffer particles of the oil destroying their respiratory system and killing their immune system. They uh, decrease their breathing rates, they move more erratically, they bunch together tightly as a social group, which indicates fear or a stress reaction. They're definitely stressed by the occurrence of the stuff, but they don't know how to get out of it. And that, uh, that, uh, that, that does not bode well. And we don't know how to get out of this, an ongoing disaster that gets worse every minute. But when it does stop, the oil will stay, and so will the suffering of dolphins. And so far, no one knows when that will end. Now, you may be wondering how they can save these dolphins, like the many birds that are being rescued right now. Well, Dr. Verzig says that keeping the oil from creeping closer inland where they are is the best option. He says capturing and rehabilitating a dolphin does more harm than good.